Hi, it's Natalie and I'm back with a quick video on how to upload a bottle or label shot to go along with your wine review. It's really easy, really quick, um, but it makes such a huge difference to how polished and professional your review looks. So if you look at this one as an example, La Clos Jordan, Heather has her review there, very nice. And there's the bottle. If you click on this little magnifying glass underneath, that's the close-up label shot there. So let's just compare that quickly with uh, poor little Vina Herminia that doesn't have a bottle shot. This is the generic default image that will show when there is no bottle shot. So you can see not only does it not look as polished, professional, it's actually also not as helpful to readers who are following your reviews and want to find this wine in the liquor store. So if they have a visual, that's much easier for them. And um, another reason is that you really do a solid for the community when you upload a bottle or label shot because those images become associated with that wine's UPC code and all future vintages of this wine and reviews will already have the bottle and label shot associated with it. So the more we all do this, the less we have to do it in the future. So let's just uh, take a look at a few quick tips and areas where you can get these bottle shots easily. The first is the winery's own website. It's a great source of bottle shots. You'll often find them under a section called Our Wines or Reviews or Our Product List. Sometimes there's also a section called Trade or Media because wine writers are always looking for these bottle shots. So what I did is I just randomly selected this bottle. I'm going to right mouse click on it and that's going to bring up this kind of little menu. Save picture as I created a um, a folder called Bottle Shots. I saved it. Now the, the winery has a weird looking file name, so I renamed it Eco Paley Island Bottle. It's also more SEO friendly um, and saved it. And then it makes it very easy to upload that to my computer. Because if we go back to that uh, poor bottle shot and we go halfway down the page here, there's a link right there that says Add Bottle or Label Shots. That Clicking on that and then clicking on Browse is going to bring up your own computer folder again where you've saved it. I won't go through that right now, um, but that makes it very easy to to upload the bottle. But we're going to leave poor Vina, Vina Herminia alone because we want a, a good example of a bad bottle shot or a non-existent one. The other areas to go or to explore, look at the liquor stores. They often have great bottle shots. The SAQ excellent. So here it is. If I click on it, I get the larger version. Again, just a right mouse click. You can save it to your folder in an instant. Uh, BC Liquor Stores, nice shots. LCBO as well. Um, LCBO, if you look, I've got this posted underneath this video, but they also have images for their mobile app. And so you just use this URL, plug in the product code, which is already on the wines listing, and there you go. Last great source is the agency for the wine. The agent is always listed under the wine right here. Constellation Brands has lots of bottle shots. They represent lots of wines and uh, you can download there. The other thing you can do, of course, is a Google image search. So you know, uh, if you're not familiar with this, you just type in the wine's name. By default, you'll get web results, but if you click on images, you'll get something like this and often the winery's own shots will come up and you can choose whichever shot looks the best. Um, again, a right mouse click to save the image. Now one caveat, of course, with all of this is be careful never <laughs> to use a copyrighted bottle or image shot. And how do you know? The website may have that, that the info is copyrighted, or you'll often see a watermark like this on the bottle or image slurp here or over here we've got uh, winesearcher.com which is a New Zealand site that tends to have a lot of bottle shots but they've got a watermark copyright symbol so don't use those. Um, there's plenty out there, wineries, agencies, they're happy for you to use their bottle shots because you're reviewing their wine so that's that's good for them. Anyway, hope that helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions on this but it really really adds to your wine review when you do have a nice bottle shot. Cheers.